Okay, July 22nd. Um, a couple things happened today I want to cover. Uh, the first one is that I'm in, in uh, 1862, Abraham Lincoln uh, presented the Emancipation Proclamation to his cabinet uh, for them to look at it and review it. And he decided, um, or they agreed, that it was a good idea um, that was necessary to the extent that what, what the Emancipation Proclamation did was it made the slaves in the rebellious states free. So it didn't end slavery, it didn't free them everywhere in the country, just in the states that were still in rebellion at that time. So this was in 1862. Um, the war had not been really going very well for the North up to that point. So what the cabinet recommended and Lincoln agreed to was that he would wait until the Union had a victory. Um, so on September 22nd, after Antietam, um, that's when he officially released it. Um, he had said that he really wanted to make sure and get some rest, so he got a good sleep, so that when he signed it the next day, on, after the 22nd, um, his hand was very steady. He wanted to make sure that he didn't, he didn't look like he was faltering as he was signing it, so he wanted to make sure it was clear. So that happened today in 1862. The other big thing that happened today in 1937 was the Supreme uh, uh, FDR had been attempting to increase the size of the Supreme Court. And the, today, in, in, eight, in 1937, the Senate rejected that plan um, because the size of the U.S. Supreme Court is not determined by the Constitution. Um, there's nothing in the Constitution that says anything about the size of the Supreme Court. It's all through law. Um, so the Supreme Court has ranged from six members. When it, was first op when it was first started in 1789, it only had six members. And then over time, it grew to almost a, to 11. It grew to 11. And part of that reasoning was because... Um, in the early days, these Supreme Court justices were literally circuit court justices. And so they would have a portion of the country that they had to go out and hear cases and then decide which ones needed to go back to the full Supreme Court. Um, so it meant a lot of travel. So as the country grew, more districts were added. And so um, these circuit court judges still traveling, and so they needed more and more of them. Um, but in 1869, um, partly to... Um, well, it, after, when Andrew Johnson was president, the, Supreme, the, the Congress decided to stop increasing the size of the Supreme Court. So as justices died and retired, they, wouldn't, they kept decreasing the size of the court until it hit nine. Uh, that was partly to keep Johnson from doing anything. Uh, so in 1869, they made it a law that it set it at nine. Um, but what FDR was trying to do, because the Supreme Court kept striking down some of his New Deal initiatives, he tried to get Congress to let him expand it uh, up to as many as 15, so to add six. Um, and today, in, in 1937, they rejected that plan. So the, the court still stands at nine justices. I will see you tomorrow.